Never wait for a perfect moment. Just take a moment and make it perfect. And here the new topic here is a bisection method. We have to find the root of the equation x cube minus 5x plus x is equal to 0 using this bisection method. And how to find this? So let us consider that the f of x is given as x cube minus 5x plus 1. First of all, I'll start with 0. If I keep 0, this will be 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, which is a positive value? So, which is equal to 0, which is a positive 1? So, next, if I keep x is equal to 1, so 1 minus 5 plus 1. So, this is negative answer. 2, this will be minus 3 and this is negative. So, if I get 1 plus and 1 minus, we have to stop. So, we have to stop. We have to consider this as 0 as x0. So, here 0 value is equal to 0. x0 value is equal to 0 and x1 value is equal to 1. So, here it is very clear that x0 is equal to. So, x0 is equal to 0 and x1 is equal to 1 and we got f of x0 value as positive value. So, this is a positive value and f of x1 value as negative value so keep keep it in your mind and next next of all it is a bisection method so we have to calculate x2 so how we'll get x2 so here x0 plus x1 by 2 like that we have to bisect so x2 will be what is our x0 value x0 value is 0 and x1 value is 1 by 2 so x2 will be this is 0 0.5 and again, we have to calculate f of x2. So, if I calculate f of x2, so which is equal to f of 0 0.5. So, which is equal to, so the here equation is x cube minus 5x plus 1. f of x is equal to. So, in this place, if I keep 0 0.5, so this will be 0 0.5 whole cube minus 5 into 0 0.5 plus 1. So, now we have to use this calci. So, if I use this calci, then this will be 0 0.5 cap 3 minus this will be 5 into 0 0.5 plus 1. So, this is a negative value. So, I got this value as a negative value that is minus 1.375. So, we got this value as a negative value. So, our x x2 value is a 0 0.5 and we got f of x2 value as a negative value. See, remember this one, this is most important thing and so the next bisection, bisection value will be, so we have to take the opposite sign. Here it is less than, here also it is less than. So same signs we shouldn't take. So we have to take different signs. So for that I am taking, I am considering these two, these two points that is x0 plus x2. So, I have to calculate x3 as, so here, these different signs we have to take, that is x0 plus x2 by 2. So, clear? So, these are of same signs. So, we shouldn't take this x1 as a bisected value. So, we have to consider x0, since we have positive value here and negative value here. So, we have to calculate the different, different values. So, x3 will be, what is our x0 value? So, x0 value is 0. And what is our x2 value? x2 value is nothing but 0 0.5 divided by 2. And our x3 value will be 0. Point, that is 0.25. So, that is 0 0.25. Again, we have to calculate f of x3. So, again, if I keep in this equation, that is x cube minus 5x plus 1. So, this will be x cube minus 5 into 0 0.25 plus 1. See, our value will be, this will be 0 0.25 uh, cap 3 minus, this is 5 into 0 0.25 plus 1. So, again this value is a negative value that is minus 0 0.234375. So, I got this value as, so the next value f of x3 value I got as a negative value and our x3 is nothing but 0 0.25. So, the next bisected value which one we have to choose. So, this is less than, this is less than, this is less than. 
we want different different signs so this is greater than and this is less than our latest value is this one so for our, our bisected value so x4 will be so initially x3 we have to choose and the next we have to choose the opposite sign so this is less than so we have to go till this is less than symbol and we have to go for greater than symbol for that we have to choose x0 so this will be x0 by 2 so x4 will be what is our x3 value x3 value is 0 0.25 plus x0 value is 0 divided by 2 that is 0 0.25 divided by 2 is 0 0.125 this is 0. Point, this is 125 so we got our x4 value as 0. 0.125 again we have to calculate f of x4 so our x4 value is 0. Point, this is 125 so we know that f of x value is nothing but x cube minus 5x plus 1 so f of x4 so which is equal to f of 0. 0.125 which is 0. Point, that is 125 whole cube minus 5 times of 0. Point, this is 125 plus 1. So if I calculate this one that is 0. Point 0.125 see here 0. Point 0.125 uh, cap 3 minus this is 5 into 0. Point, this is 125 plus 1. And here the value is 0. 0.76953 and this is our f of x4 value. So this is our f of x4 value. So which we got as a positive value. So here we got f of x4 value as a positive value. So again for our bisected value. So we have to choose different different signs. Here is a positive value and we have to choose for a negative value. So the very next one is the negative value so for our next bisected value f5 will be x4 plus x3 x4 plus x3 by 2 so x5 value is this is 0. Point, this is 125 plus 0. 0.25 by 2 so if you observe this one so this is 0. 0.125 plus 0. 0.25 divided by 2 and which is nothing but f of x5 is 0. 0.18 this is a 75 and we got the final answer as a 0. 0.15 so here if i take if i take f of x5 here that is f of x5 value is nothing but that is f of 0. 0.1875 is Nothing but we have to keep in this that is x cube minus 5x plus 1. In this if I keep that is 0. 0.1875 whole cube minus 5 times of 0. 0.1875 plus 1. So if I operate here that is 0. 0.1875 cap 3 minus that is 5 into 0. Point, this is 1875 plus 1. So the value is again positive value that is we got f of x5 value as a positive value. So this is x5 value is nothing but. So what is our x5 value 0. 0.1875. So this is enough and here the first approximation the root values here first we have to take x0. So initially what we have to take so the root for the given equation is nothing but x5. I am considering this as a final answer that is 0. 0.1875 is the root for the, the given equation. See here, let me explain you once again. So, this is the most important question. So, we have to find a root for the equation x cube minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 using the bisection method. First of all, we have to consider this as a function f of x is equal to x cube minus 5x plus 1. First of all, initially you give the value of x as 0 and check whether it is negative or positive this is positive and check the next value with 1 so if i keep i got the negative value then stop stop doing here if i get positive and negative values you stop here and these will be the x0 value and x1 value so x0 value is 0 and x1 value is 1 so for the next bisected root so x2 is equal to this is the formula for the bisection that is x0 plus uh, x1 by 2. So we got this as 
0 0.5 so again we have f of x is equal to x cube minus 5x plus 1 so if i keep f of uh, x2 x2 value this will be negative so i got this value as a negative so again for x3 which uh, which roots you have to select so this is negative and this is also negative so you shouldn't choose x1 so we have to go with the positive one so x0 is positive and uh, this one is x2 so for x3 value so we have to bisect these two that is x0 plus x2 by 2 so this is very important so this is the simple logic you have to use so you have to write each and every negative and positive for the next value x4 so this this value we got as positive so the next one is negative so this is positive two different symbols are there so we can take this as a bisected value for getting x5 so until until we get five iterations so we have to keep doing and this will be the final answer that is x5 is equal to 0 0.1875 so thank you so much for watching and hope you all guys understand and this is very important problem if you don't understand this watch for one more time or else look at my next video so i'll be posting many many videos on this bisection method Thank you and uh, hopefully these videos will be very helpful to you. Thank you so much.